Hi guys, my name is Ruth. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. So I originally had the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I really like this foundation because I think it looks so good on the skin. But I could never actually wear it out because I have very oily skin. So it just wouldn't last on me. So for a very long time, I've been hoping that NARS would come out with a matte foundation and they did so i was super excited about that um so i'm just going to give you some details on the foundation so it's supposed to come in 34 shades it's 53 dollars in canada and 40 dollars in the us which actually means that the soft matte is cheaper than the natural radiant longwear um, because this one's 63 dollars and also you're getting more product in the soft matte so it has 45 ml which is 1.5 fluid ounces whereas natural radiant only has 30 ml and it only has one fluid ounce it also is supposed to have a soft matte finish so i'm assuming that means it's not going to be like a true matte like a more i guess a more drier finish or drier feeling on the face and it's supposed to have 16 hour wear transfer proof full coverage and i think one of the more interesting specs is that it's supposed to be oxidization resistant so it's not gonna change or get darker like after you put it on so that should be kind of interesting um i got the shade marquez because that's the shade i am in the natural radiant long wear and yeah, I'm just gonna get to applying the foundation. So I've already prepped and primed my skin. Um, I use the Becca Ever Matte Primer. and So yeah, I'm just gonna get to trying it out. Oh yeah, so when I first took out the, bo the bottle the first time, I thought I got the wrong shade because it looks so light in the bottle, but it's because um, the tube is frosted so the shade looks lighter because when I swatch them I'm gonna swatch it compared to um, the natural radiant they're the same exact color as you can probably see but also I noticed that the soft matte is more of like a runny consistency whereas natural radiant is more um thicker so i wonder how it's gonna like play out when i actually apply it on my skin so let me just wipe this off and then i'll just get to applying the foundation oh i just got some on my leg <laughs> okay so let's see it also, it's um, a squeezy tube. I've actually grown to like these because you don't waste as much foundation with these ones. And also because you can control how much foundation you put out, right? Like you can do a little bit or a lot. So I'm just starting with a little bit for now. And I'm just gonna see how this goes. Okay. Yeah, this was very, very full coverage. Yeah, it applies really nicely on the skin. Wow. I would say it's a match. Yeah, I think it matches my skin well. Wow. So far, I mean, I've only applied just on my cheek area, but I really like it. I think it looks really, really nice. Me just get some more. Yeah, super runny consistency. It doesn't I don't think it really affects 
the foundation. But yeah. Yeah, to get the full coverage, I'm finding that like I'm using like that was probably about three pumps so far, but I think I should be fine after this. Probably even put a little bit too much the last time. Yeah, I put a little too much on this time. You know what I think? I think the liquid consistency um, kind of gives it a little bit more time to dry down than drying down right away. Which is nice because um, sometimes with matte foundations they dry very quickly so you have to move fast. But I'm finding like I can go back like I started my nose a while back, but I can still go back and like blend it out a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so, wow. This looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, I really like how this is looking on my skin so far. I'll just come closer so you guys can see. Yeah, I think it looks really, really nice on the skin so far. I really like it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my face and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm finished applying my full face of makeup. So I used the Pat McGrath concealer for my under eye area. I set my entire face with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I used the shade 60 Deep. And I bronzed with the MAC Sun Power. And for my lips, I went in with my NYX Espresso lip liner and my Nude Sticks uh, Nudies, I use Nudies Bronze in the shade Deep, um, Deep Maple A. And for mascara, I did a combination of L'Oreal Telescopic and Voluminous in Carbon Black. So funny story. When I was going in with Voluminous Black, I like dotted a big piece on my eye. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. I just tried to cover it up with some concealer and powder. You can still see it, but it's whatever. It looks like a beauty mark, right? So yeah, um, so far, I think my makeup looks really nice. And I'm gonna go up about my day, run a few errands, and come back later in the day to tell you guys how it actually turned out like do i still like it after the day um, i'm pretty sure i will but so far i think i even like this actually you know what i'm just gonna wait until i come back and then i'll say how i feel hey guys i'm back so i'm gonna give you guys an update on the foundation so it's about eight o'clock right now so i've worn it for about six hours six or seven hours so i want to test the claims that nars says that the foundation has so first claim was is it transfer resistant and i wore my mask today um and as you can see my foundation is in the mask um and then another claim was if it oxidizes i would say it oxidizes a little bit not significant enough to be like oh my god like this is a completely different color but 
a foundation oxidizing isn't really a make or break for me just because like i said earlier it didn't change to a completely different color um i also wanted to say that in an earlier clip i said that soft matte and natural radiant were the exact same shade but when i actually look on it on camera soft matte is a little bit lighter than natural radiant so i personally feel like i might exchange it um for the darker shade just because i think it's a tad bit light than what i'm used to or what i like i feel like in person it doesn't look as bad but on camera i feel like it looks very yellow and a little too like not the right undertone for my skin complexion um i feel like overall this foundation is really nice i really like how it applied on the skin i thought it was very beautiful like it was very smoothing um it didn't enhance my texture at all nor my pores um i would say if you are oily i think this is a good foundation to go for um because it's it's not matte to the point where it feels uncomfortable and drying it feels very comfortable on the skin and if you're more dry or looking for more of a radiant dewy finish i would go with natural radiant um i also feel like this foundation isn't very heavy on the skin either like it's very comfortable to wear out and about as you can see like in the first clip i feel like i put on a lot compared to what i would on a regular basis and yeah it didn't feel like like i couldn't feel it on my skin which is really important for me so yeah overall i feel like this is a foundation that's definitely gonna replace the foundation that i've been using for like my day-to-day -day foundation because i just love how it just sat on the skin how it feels on the skin um but if anything i might exchange it for a darker color so yeah that's the end of my review i would appreciate it if you guys could like my video subscribe and also tell me in the comment section have you tried this foundation yet or if you've tried natural radiant and what are your thoughts and yeah so that's the end of my review see you guys bye